This is Coach PDHPE with another Year 12 PDHPE video. This is Option 3, Sports Medicine, and Key Idea 1, How are Sports Injuries Classified and Managed? And the first dot point, Ways to Classify Sporting Injuries. There's the three dash points there. Um, the right-hand side of the syllabus requires you to have specific examples of injuries that reflect each of those three dash points. It's a pretty basic uh, requirement, what they're re wanting you to do there. So let's have a look at sporting injuries get classified according to, I guess, two different situations. What caused the injury? And secondly, what was the part of the body that was injured? Now you can see how that relates to the syllabus in this way. So direct and indirect injuries are what caused the injury and soft and hard tissue and overuse injuries described uh, what type of injury it was. So let's start off, start off with the first dash point, direct and indirect injuries. So here's a picture of a game of NFL where two players have had quite a heavy collision and it's an example of a direct injury because the definition talk goes something like this, it's an injury that results from impact with another player the playing surface or object such as the goalpost. Now with this particular example there would be a high chance of a concussion uh, because two players have had a rather heavy collision. Moving on to indirect injuries. Uh, indirect injuries is an injury that results from internal stress placed within the body. So an example could be in a game of tennis or squash for example where a player overreaches and puts too much force or stress on the ankle resulting in an ankle sprain from the ankle rolling. Some common types of sporting injuries are actually listed there um, and we'll look at those a little bit more in depth in some of the later videos on sports medicine. Soft and hard tissue injury is the next dash point and I'll stop, start off with this section by doing a bit of a question and answer on soft tissue. So what are soft tissue injuries? Soft tissue injuries include injuries to muscles, tendons and ligaments. Um, it's important to note they are not bones and surface tissue injuries such as a skin laceration. What are the most common types of soft tissue injuries in sport? Um, they include contusions which is uh, commonly known as bruising, uh, sprains, muscle strains such as a hamstring tear, an overuse injury and a facial laceration or facial cut. How can you prevent soft tissue injuries occurring? Well a lot of instances you can't prevent them but you can certainly lower the risk by doing a warm up and a cool down, um, gradually increasing the intensity of training over time particularly for beginners, allowing sufficient recovery time between sessions and ensuring that appropriate footwear is being worn particularly by those people who require a lot of running in their sport. The next question is that one there and there is my response. So moving on to hard tissue injuries. What are hard tissue injuries? A hard tissue injury is any damage to bone tissue and that includes teeth. So can we already remember how does that differ from soft tissue? Well, I just recently told you that soft tissue injuries involve damage to other types of tissue, so muscular tissue and tendons, but here we are focusing on hard tissue which is injury to bones and teeth. What could I write to impress the marker about hard tissue injuries? Well, you could say something along the lines of hard tissue injuries are not as common in soft, as soft tissue injuries, but hard tissue injuries are generally more serious in nature. Overuse injuries. Um, is the final dash point. When injuries occur they are usually uh, sorry acute type injuries or overuse injuries. Acute injuries are usually the result of a single traumatic event and they get uh, so either a direct injury or an indirect injury and this third classification here overuse injuries. So overuse injuries refer to injuries re sustained from repeated action common amongst teenage boys. They are a result of repetitive micro trauma to the tendons bones and joints. Common examples include tennis elbow and shin splints. Um, causes of overuse injuries include overtraining, poor technique and wearing the wrong type of shoes, particularly for athletes who do a lot of running. So that's it for the very first dot point from Sports Medicine. Um, hit the textbooks for some further in-depth information. Thank you for listening.